fuck, I'ma walk that walk. I only speak facts. None of these bitches is seeing me, and that's just that on that. Stay down ten toes, I'm a real bitch. I don't play around, I walk in and kill shit. Big cubing on my neck, cause a whole brick. Made myself a boss, now I'm a rich bitch. I'm a rich bitch. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Destiny Monica, and I am back with another freaking video. Yes, I am in my bonnet. Do I care? No. So don't come for me, okay? Because period. Because this ain't what y'all came here for. Y'all didn't come here to talk about me being in my bonnet, okay? So keep your comments to yourself because I class back, period. Anyway, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Become one of my best friends because I love all my best friends and all my best friends love me. And that's on period. And don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post another freaking video. So, as you guys may or may not know, I don't know because some people don't read or look. But if you read that title and you saw that thumbnail, then you already know what this video is about to be. Okay, period. So, what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys a... So, guys, this is Father... He's such a deadbeat, y'all. He left his house without telling my son. That son don't even look like me. I don't think he mind. He ain't fed my son. He ain't contributed. I don't think I he did. Made the man I don't think he did what bought my son this year. I gave him a roof to live in, put some clothes on his he back, ain't gave my son his mouth. He ain't like gave my, my son job is done. He ain't sound like a typical black deadbeat daddy. <laughs> Gone. I sound like Denzel out that movie. Mm. Anyway, yeah. So this is going to be a what they call enclosure tour or cage tour, whatever of my son's home is not yet finished i'm still waiting on two things but i want to go ahead and show you guys you know the tour because we are about to put him in his new home and i'm scared of him so yeah <laughs> i ain't finna be giving y'all no tour while he in there so yeah so let's just get straight into this video like this video subscribe to my channel click that bell so you can notify whenever i post again and again and again so guys as you can see this is the cage he is currently in he up in here start hiding somewhere, y'all. He's so scared. Or whatever. Same. Huh? He out. No. But he up in here somewhere. I know he in here. He ain't out. But he in there somewhere, y'all. So this cage is extremely too small. When I got him, I did not know that you, you know, they needed a super large cage because they're small. I did not know that they needed a super large, you know, cage, even though they're super small, but they do. Should have did my research before. I uh, got him, but yeah, this is the poor, poor cage that he's trapped in. He's probably hiding and stuff because he's so bored. He ain't got nothing to do. All he got is a wheel, and this is so. It's okay, son, because I got you something new. So let me show y'all. I'm going to show y'all my flow because it's dirty. So as I was doing some, um, what's it called? What's it called? Research. Oh, I don't want to out too quick. But as I was doing research on YouTube, I was told, you know, you can make your own cage. And it's called a bin cage which i did you just buy a clear bin from walmart preferably you know a large one so this one was 110 square feet which is you know good enough size for them because they need um 450 square inches of floor space so you know that's good this is the top i poked a bunch of holes in it but y'all actually i think my baby gonna end up dying because i just don't think this is enough you know circulation so i ordered him a um a mesh thing you know so i can go in and go out of it so they will be here friday so i'm actually probably not gonna put him in here because i don't want him to die so but yeah that's just what i had did but we're gonna talk about it it's so you know it's so cringy like it's i don't know it looks so disgusting to me like give me anxiety i don't know but anyway here is his cage here's a good view of his cage y'all it is so beautiful it's giving me very much rich bougie king vibes because my son is a king that's his name king kim so yeah giving me very much bougie very much all of that vibes period so we're gonna start over here in the corner or whatever so right here in this corner we have his castle baby this is his castle because like I said, my son is a king. And he also has an opening at the back. So if he want to go back there, go in his little home and hide and stuff, he can. And I also have this um bed and super, super high. So he can like, you know, just hide off up in there. Y'all, I really feel like I'm never going to find him in here because he got a lot to do. I got him these little chews right here. It's for their teeth, you know, that they chew on. Got him three of those. One, two, and three. Okay, over here in this corner, we got him some just some little decorative stuff because my son is bougie and he needs, you know, decor and all of that. So, we got these little flowers right here. I got these from Dollar Tree for a dollar. 
Also, I got these little these little fake plant right here that came. That's for a fish tank. But y'all don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Then right here we have this little tunnel, which was also from a fish tank, but it doesn't matter. It's a little tunnel. He can definitely fit in there. Or whatever. So that's another place he could look, just hide in, you know, chill out, probably sleep at, you know, because I keep my light on and stuff. I might make him a noise for him, you know, so he could just go in there and hide and stuff. Then right here, I just got him a little bridge that he can just walk over, or he can also go under there and hide in all the bed and stuff. Right here, we have his wheel y'all he's gonna have so much fun on his wheel he's gonna be running he's gonna be healthy he's gonna be losing weight he's gonna be exercising he's gonna be doing all of that that he needs to be doing on this big large wheel so yeah then if you look right here this is actually his bed y'all but honestly i don't think like this right here is like good for them but i'm really not sure i didn't say i didn't hear anyone say it wasn't good but they just said you know it was a waste of money but let me waste my money because this is my first child so yeah this is his bed even though he may never sleep in it i just wanted him to know like baby you got a bed like a whole king size bed because he got this bed but yeah and around his bed i have his some just some little rocks because like i said my son is bougie oh his rocks is falling down up in there but yeah just got him some little rocks, you know, just to add a little more decor, a little touchy touch to it. Yeah. So over here in this corner beside his wheel is his food dish. So we just got him some. This is the little dry apples or whatever. And then we just got his food mix down there. Like I said, I'm not putting them here in here today. So yeah. And then we also have some rocks around that. Just, you know, this is one of his little treats. It's actually like Duke it, but it's not Duke it. It's a little treat. Ooh, y'all putting stuff all up in there. I'm gonna clean it out later. Right here, this clear bowl, it will it's gonna be his sand bath. So basically, hamsters they bath in sand, like the sand helps get all the oil and stuff out there fur. So the sand is actually gonna be here Friday as well. And that's another reason why I don't want to put him in here yet. So yeah, this is gonna be full of sand so he can bath in and stuff like that. And on this side right here, I might add a little hideout so he can hide in there or do his business in there. I don't know. Okay, so right here in this corner. This is just another little ball I got for him. So uh, right here in this corner is this little platform. He can also go under in there. As y'all can see, he can hide. And as y'all can see, I got a little food right there because they told me to scare the feed. So it's really like food everywhere. Like these little droppings is food. It's not boo boo, y'all. It's food. But yeah, he can go in there and hide. He can also go climb up top if he wanted to. And then this is a little water thing. And yeah, he can drink out there. He also has these little sticks. It's also good for chewing. They are called, um, hold on, let me see what they call. called. Willow sticks. So yeah, basically, just I just put those in there so he can like chew on. You know, have something to do. Like my son gonna have a lot of things to do up in here. So again, here's another little quick overview. Oh my god y'all i'm so in love like for my first time i did the damn thing like my son is gonna love this okay my son is gonna love this his new home so now let me just show you guys so yeah i had to prop y'all look so, so i can show y'all how i got his little food and stuff section now so i showed it in my last video but that don't matter watch it again period but yeah oh i got him this on um, some hay or whatever and i got a few pieces off in his cage but i watched the video and said this timothy hay is not good for him because it's rough and it might stick him in the eyes some so i'm not gonna be using it anymore i'm gonna get some softer hay and i also had got this toy too to hang up in his cage but y'all this really for a bird but <laughs> i just thought it was real cute but actually his cage is not tall enough for this to like hang down in it so this just went to waste actually and i also bought this which is also for a bird and yeah it, i don't have anywhere to put it i might just lay it in the ground on there but it also has this on it and i don't you know i'm probably gonna try to cut it shorter or something i don't know yet but i also have that as well i want my son to have a lot of things but anyway let's just get into the food oh let me show y'all my bed i had gray and blue bed because he's a boy and he's gonna be very much boyish bougie period so, this is the bedding that I had used, paper bedding, all living things with other control. 
So yeah, this was recommended like for one of the best paper bedding and Aspen and yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, it's this super cute. I love it because it's blue. My favorite color is blue, so my son's favorite color is gonna be blue too. Okay, next thing I have. Okay, so I have these little storage things where I keep his food and stuff in. So these little things right here, if y'all can see them, cut the burns up a little bit. So these, ooh, these little things right here are called millet sprays. It was the thing. So make sure. Yeah, it says millet spray, and it's just like a little treat or whatever. You don't. It's not like food. Food. It's like just a little treat. Um, it's for. Parakeets, canaries, finches, mice, rats, gerbils, hamsters, backyard chickens, so on. So on. Say maybe fit as a treat or mix into daily diet for a very special meal. We recommend that treat does not exceed 10% of the daily dietary intake. So basically, if I want to get him, I'll probably just get him like once a day or one every two days. Because, yeah, I don't know if to be fat like me. I mean, oh, I call my baby a rat. I'm so sorry, boo. I don't want my son, my hamster. I apologize. I called you a rat. I don't want him to be fat like me, so, yeah. Next thing is I have is just his food mix. And in here is just some sunflower seeds, some corn, and some most of that. I don't know what it is, but that's what it looks like. Ooh, child. Mm -mm. Food too expensive to be wasting, son. You gonna eat all of this, you know? Five second rule: don't, don't, don't hurt. Better make it work. Let me close this up, cause I'm making a mess. I already got clean my room. This right here, I got some carrots. They are in the refrigerator. I'm gonna take them out, cause they're really for me. But I'm against my son, cause he knows sharing his carrot, and that's what I do. But I love this carrot, cause this where well, I'm gonna pick this little carrot that he can munch on, because he ain't no rabbit. But they eat fruits and vegetables, so period. These are the willow sticks I was telling you guys about. So yeah, that's try if I draw one more thing. This just what they look like. It just look like little tree branch sticks. They don't smell like none. So but yeah, basically I just keep it in container so I'll be full if I can stay fresh. And then right here I just got him some fried some I can say fried freeze dried apples. And you can feed them these as long as it's not mixed with any sugars or anything. So basically the only thing are in these apples are apples. So got that so that's it ain't it yeah that's it that's all his food and stuff um once i get him in the cage and you know get his little area set up <laughs> y'all oh my god i'm making a mess over here once i get him in his cage and get his little area set up for you guys i'm gonna you know show y'all it's not gonna be like no whole video i'll probably just add a little clip in if i'm just doing a little video or something but yeah guys i'm super excited about being a mom like i told y'all this is the first thing i'm gonna get into to being a mother so super 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 excited i also got these little um popsicle sticks because i was gonna make him some little stuff i'll probably make him like a tile platform that he can stand up on and chill and stuff but we're gonna figure all that out at another time but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. So I really ain't even got no pictures of him yet because he always hiding. So probably when he gets in his cage, you know, he can chill out and you know just relax. Stop being so timid. Get used to your mama, period, or your mother. But yeah, and then I can get some pictures and I can actually show y'all what he look like. Cause he be playing how I go seek and I ain't finna go do no seeking. Okay, period. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that post notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post another freaking video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. They have a conversation on the trending topic.